السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لاسٹ ٹائم وی وار ڈسکسنگ دا نمیریکل پرابلم اینڈ دس وی ول سالو دا نمیریکل پرابلمس لیٹ اسٹارٹ کوشچن نمبر نائن وٹ سیز دیٹ کنسیڈر اے پروجیکٹائل فائر ورٹیکل ان کانسٹنٹ گریویٹیشنل فیلڈ فار دا سیم انیشیل ویلاسٹی کمپیئر دا ٹائم ریکوائرڈ فار دی پروجیکٹائل ٹو ریچ اٹس میکسیمم ہائٹ دا فرسٹ تھنگ از ٹو نوٹ دین میکسیمم ہائٹس اینڈ سیم انیشیل ویلاسٹیز اینڈ کمپیئر دی ٹائم ریکوائرڈ وی ہیو ٹو فائنڈ دی ٹائم ریکوائرڈ ان دا ٹو کیسز سیم انیشیل ویلاسٹیز اینڈ میکسیمم دیز آر دا کنڈیشن وین دا فرسٹ کیس از زیرو ریزسٹنس کیس اینڈ دا سیکنڈ از فار ریزسٹنٹ فورس پرپورنر ٹو انسٹینیس ویلاسٹی آف دی پروجیکٹائل سو وین دیئر از نو فریکشنل فورس مین زیرو ریزسٹنٹ فورس then we can write equation of motion like f is equal to ma which will be equal to minus into mg because <coughs> in this case we have ignored the resistance force and only gravitational force is acting along y direction because y direction is the determining uh, directions for the uh, time and uh, f is equal to ma which is equal to minus mg if uh, we integrate this equations uh, delta for v This will give us V is equal to minus GT plus V naught. Since we are seeking uh, time for maximum height, so at maximum height, velocity become zero because particles came to uh, momentarily at rest position. So we will put V will be equal to zero and evaluate ex this expression or change this expression for time, which will be equal to V naught over G. This is the time. when there is no resistance uh, force and then for the second for resistance per force proportional to the instantaneous velocity of the projectile in this case we will write an additional term uh, <coughs> on the right hand side minus mg minus kmv and if we arrange uh, this equation so this will become delta v and mg plus kmv and integrating this equation for velocity like the previous problem so this will give us v of t is equal to minus g over k plus the soli terms so if again for at maximum height particle will come to rest and we have to put v of t is equal to zero and again if we evaluate this term for v naught so v naught will be equal to g over k exponential k t m minus 1 which can be written like this if we uh, multiply this constants g over k on the other sides and find a value of k t m so we have to take the anti log on both side <coughs> to evaluate k t m so k t k sub t m is equal to log of 1 plus this thing and we have uh, series for this log of 1 plus z is which is equal to z minus z square plus z cube over 3 if we put this term in this series format so kv not over g will be equal to z and <coughs> putting th these term in the form of log of 1 plus z so this will give us tm will be equal to v not over g 1 minus kv not over 2g plus 1 over 3 and square terms <coughs> in this case if we uh, put k is equal to 0 means when there is no resistant force when there is no resistant force mean um, our fractional force was proportional to uh, k m v so if k is 0 it means our fractional force is 0 and here we will put k is equal to 0 and here k will be and other all con term containing k will be goes to 0 and we will left be only the first term which is v not over g so when there is no resistance force so this term will become v not over g uh, like we have find out the previous term so our both expression uh, coincide when k tend to zero it means we have find out this result uh, correctly for resistive cases in the second another question <coughs> which say that a block of mass m is 1.62 kg slide down a friction as in glyn as shown in the bottom figure uh, the block is released from the height of this above the bottom of the loop what is the force of the inclined track on the block at bottom 
so we have to find the force of inclined track on the block so first look at the figures and try to solve uh, the part of part 1 so this is our block <coughs> which is at height h and because it is uh, definitely it will have to uh, some potential energies when this will fall at this point at a this ground will exert in normal force in upward direction and its weight will be downward direction so we have to find the normal force actually because the force of track on this object so only normal force is acting on the object by this track or ground in this case if we model our equation so <coughs> normal force is upward and mg is downward so n minus mg is equal to mv square r so we have to invoke ex uh, in acceleration v square over r centripetal force because now in this case particle is negotiating on a circular track so our acceleration will be centripetal acceleration n minus mg which will be equal to mv square r <coughs> in this expression we need v square so we can find v square at the top we have potential energy at this point we have the kinetic energy so mgh which will be equal to 1 by 2 mv square if we put uh, these two equation equal mgh will equal 1 by 2 mv square so this can give us velocity which will be equal to 2gh if we put uh, values of this v back to our equation so this will give us expression for normal force <coughs> which is equal to mg plus 2 mg 2gh r and if we take mg common so this will become 1 plus 2h over r which is very simplified uh, form <coughs> so look for another part of this questions another part what is the force of the inclined track on the block at point b so we have to find this normal force at point b so first look at the normal at point b now in this case because the position of the body is changed so in this case uh, if i erase the previous marks here weight is acting downward directions and this is angle 45 because in this case this uh, this is vertical directions and this is parallel to this line so if this vertical if the angle between this vertical direction and this line is 45 so here we have again vertical directions and this line which is in parallel direction so our angle will be 45 in this case also if we in this case our weight is acting in downward direction and resolve this weight into two component the first will be mg sin theta and the second will be mg cos theta which will be in this direction mg cos theta and weight will be acting in this direction but in this case normal force be acting in uh, upward uh, direction so if we resolve this like here this normal force is inward perpendicular to surface or weight normal force act perpendicular to surface and this is our weight and this is our sine component and this will be our cos component so mg cos 45 which will be equal to and in this case if we put values for normal force so this will become n will be equal to mv square over r plus mg cos 45 so value of cos 45 is 1 over under root 2 so our expression for normal force will become n is equal to mv square over r plus mg cos 45 which is equal to 1 over under root 2 again we need value of v at this point so at this point because Uh, we can find velocity by conservation theorem of energy so at the total we have energy uh, which is mgh when the body is at the height h so when it comes down at this point at point b we have to find uh, the total energy at this some uh, some uh, parts of this will be kinetic energy and some part will be potential energy so 1 by 2 mv square plus mgh prime h prime is this height h prime is Uh, this side we can find this height in term of r we have total this distance r 
and this is r sin theta because if we resolve this radius into two component one will be r sin theta and this will be r cos 45 and this will be r sin 45 so if the total distance is r and we also know that this is uh, our r cos 45 because this is our vertical component of the radius so from this point to this point we have r cos 45 uh, which is the Mm, horizontal component of this r so this is r cos 45 and this is h prime and this total distance which is parallel to radius vector r which is r so we have uh, we have to find h so we will just uh, uh, subtract r cos 45 this part from the this total path so h prime will be equal to r cos 45 r minus r cos 45 so this will if we put value of cos 45 this will become 1 over under root 2 so our h prime which will be equal to total distance r this total distance r minus this distance which will be equal to this distance h prime so r minus r cos 45 so we can put value of cos 45 here so this will become r if we take r common so and put value of cos 45 this is 1 over under root 2 so our expression for h prime will be equal to r into 1 minus 1 over under root 2 so if we put this values into this equation this will lead to mgh will be equal to mg h prime value of h prime here and 1 by 2 mv mv square so if we solve for v square this will give us Uh, value of v and again we substitute this value of v back to our previous equations in in this equation m v square so this will give us the values of normal force at this point which will be equal to m g into two h plus r plus three one into two minus two <coughs> now. part c of this question let's see at uh, question uh, part c of this question say at what speed does block leave the track at what speed does uh, block leave the track so where the block is leaving the block is leaving the track at point to uh, a and we have to find the speed with which this block leaving the track so mv because block is uh, leaving the track at b v at point b so in this case we have to find v b square which will be equal to 2g h uh, h prime which is actually h prime so h prime we have already calculated the expression for h prime so which will be equal to 2g and h prime so h prime is just uh, h minus this so this will give us v b square so if we uh, take square root of both sides there will the value of uh, velocity at point b actually this is the point where our object is leaving the track circular track now another part of this question which is d D says how far away from point A does the block land on the ground it means we have to find the horizontal distance at which this object will uh, fall so in this case we have to find this horizontal uh, distance from point A to this so if uh, we take into uh, consideration the x and y component so x component will be x is equal to x not plus v not into t and y is equal to y not plus v y not into t minus 1 by 2 gt square so we know that x not is r cos 45 and which is equal to r not over under 2 and v x is equal to v cos 45 so this will be equal to v b and cos 45 is 1 over under 2 and t is t so let's see if where, where this value is So here at this point, this is the R sine 
so r sin 45 is r over under root 2 so this is x naught and this is vx into t components so this will be vx cos 45 and this is x r cos 45 so r cos 45 is r1 under root 2 and this is v naught cos 45 so we will put the values for vx and x naught so x naught is r1 under root 2 and vx is vb over under root 2 uh, and 1 over under root 2 comes due to cos 45 and t similarly again y is equal to y naught plus v y naught t minus 1 by 2 gt square and y naught at this in this case is this y naught is this actually h prime and which is equal to h prime as we have already calculated the expression for h prime and plus v y is equal to velocity at point b which will be equal to v b for sine 45 and sine 45 is 1 over under t and minus 1 by 2 g t square so solve for t and when y is equal to 0 if we solve this equation for t and when y is equal to 0 if we put value of h prime so if put this uh, y is equal to 0 and solve this equation for t so we will get 2 times uh, because this is quadratic equation it has two roots so we will ignore the negative roots and put the uh, positive roots in back to our this equation so we will get this r over under 2 v b over this plus this whole term so using the previous expression for v b and yield x is equal to under 2 so if we put the values of this uh, h prime and v naught and this will yield like this expression so if you do not proceed from this step our answer is okay to this point if you want to stop at this point it means uh, this answer is also good and if you want to rewrite in the original term so you have to put the uh, values for h prime and v naught but this answer is also good so another question a roof having total mass this uh, and total length is this and 0.6 meter of the ropes hanging vertically down of a table this is question 27 from the books and how much work must be done to place all the ropes on the bench because in this case some uh, part of the roof is hanging uh, from the top of the table and some is lying on the horizontal uh, table so if we want to put this the hanging part on the table what will what will be the amount of work done so in this case delta w will be equal to delta m and z and because work done is equal to mgh so we because some part of this chain is lying uh, in vertically which is hanging so we will we'll write dm and g is due to gravity and z naught minus z because z is z naught is the total length and z is, is the hanging part so z naught minus z now z, z is actually that part which is on the horizontal position and z naught is the total length so if we find to we want to find the hanging part so this will be z naught minus z so we integrate this equation and dm is equal to uh, mu into delta z which mu is linear mass density and delta z is the small part so if we want, want to evaluate this mu this will be equal to dm in small means small part small mass over small length so if we find values of this dm this will be equal to mu into delta z so mu into delta z and g is g z naught minus z if we integrate this equation from 0 to z naught this will be equal to mu g z naught square over 2 so this is the amount of work done which is required to place all the hanging part of the rope on the bench so i will stop at this point and in the next lecture i will discuss the uh, remaining